Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. In the last episode we worked on focuses to mostly get rid of the um, Great Depression. We're now at a slow economic growth and once we finish Support Rock Island I think we can get the next focus that takes away slow economic growth completely. And so therefore the effects of the Great Depression will be completely gone. And off camera, before I started recording, I set up a um, task force in the Atlantic for convoy escorts and I split the battleships for the ones that actually weren't in the Pacific. And over here I made a battleship row task force here in the composition editor. And so they're moving to Pearl Harbor now. And also with the Asiatic task force, I went ahead and set them up to move to Manila. But, and while I was doing that, I'll go ahead and start the game. While I was doing that, I got one of those prompts to build a munitions plant in Utah. So we're now doing that and finishing this one in North Carolina along with the um, infrastructure. And I forgot at the end of the last episode to look at the Chinese-Japanese war. Okay, we got radio detection. Oh, and small caliber shells, that's nice. Let's get the next level of radar for our ships so that we can start mass producing them. And we'll go ahead and get the next level of um, shells for our navy so that we can be ready to do these for our ships and Hopefully 1938. See, I don't think it was too long ago that the war over here started, but we'll check the casualties real quick. Oh, the Yellow River was blown. Yeah, 40,000 for the Japanese. 75,000 total for the Chinese. And we have dockyards. And we'll put one in, on each of those. And there we go. We'll do it like that for now. And then we'll ramp up production here whenever we get our better designs. And let's check in, over here in Spain. This should be almost wrapped up, I think. Yeah, it's pretty close to finished. How are the casualties doing in this war? Now, I know we checked at the end of the last episode. Well, it actually increased quite a bit already. Okay, we got our armored shells for the Navy. Um, let's go ahead and work on this for, so we can get the next artillery in about a year. And how is our production lines? We just got some military factories. Uh, let's go up to about 10 on rifles and 4 on support equipment. And then whenever that's done it can notify us. Looks like Spain is Putting up a stubborn effort, but they're probably going to collapse pretty soon. Yeah, and how's our support in the Senate? 79 and 238. Alright, we just got our Rock Island focus. And we're locked out of these two until 30% war support. And it is not time to do this yet. So let's get our next research slot and a small lobby effort just to make sure that we have enough support for the things we need. I remember there being something over here that required um, support. Yeah, the Two Ocean Navy Act. It looks like we have enough right now. Now we need more representatives. 
once this munitions plant in Utah gets finished, well, it just finished, I guess. So we should be getting support pretty soon then. I'm not sure how long it takes after this is finished in order to, for it to take effect. Yeah, eight senators went into opposition there. And we got a medium tank chassis. Let's go ahead and get these 1934 armor and engine researches. It's probably something we want to get out of the way. Seems important. And we're not going to design this quite yet. And we lost 40 representatives now. It's not good. Do one more lobby effort. And over here, it uh, looks like the anarchists up in the northeast were annexed. Up here, I want to get this flexible organization. That way our divisions are faster and they lose less organization when moving. I think that's probably the best one here. For the U.S. anyway. So we'll go ahead and get that. And then we got the computing machine. So let's get the next fire control system. And we have 200 naval experience. So let's get a um, doctrine here. Okay, we got our radar. And I think now we'll go ahead and get the next set of construction and concentrated industry. We have this coming open in six days, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got that plane. And let's get our construction here. Yeah, Madrid is completely surrounded now. That's not good for them. Let's see how the Chinese are doing real quick. Yeah, we got our next research slot. That's great. And this still... We still don't have new legislation for this. And we don't have the war support here. And we don't have representative support here. So let's head towards tank experiments and work towards the main battle tank designer then. That we get with it. And for our research slot, we will go ahead and pick up advanced machine tools. Okay, we got the Anschluss. Looks like Japan is making a little bit of headway up in the north. And they just abandoned the naval treaty. And we're not gonna do this quite yet. We'll probably, I'll probably do the air designers and everything off camera in the next episode. We'll try to get to 1939, maybe when the, when World War II officially starts and all in this episode. Yeah, we have a 100% research bonus here. That's good. I think we may want to start doing the synthetic research though, so we can get our rubber production up. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then over here, let's get um, this guy. So he lowers consumer goods by 5%. And then with the next 150, we'll get the war industrialists. So, Cause we're gonna be switching pretty soon to military factories, I think. All of this infrastructure should start to complete pretty quickly now that we're coming out of the Great Depression. And we're going to take another small lobby effort here. I want to make sure we have enough representatives so that we can get that Two Ocean Navy Act. And over here we'll get the 
basic armor for our tanks. We almost have the next fire control system here. Let's go ahead and get the mountain troops though. That way we can start building our ranger templates out. And this is almost done and I think we'll be able to do the Federal Housing Act. Yeah, that'll completely get rid of the Great Depression. And war support's at 27%, so we may potentially be able to do um, the Giant Wakes. Okay, they want us to build a military factory in Florida. And we just lost 20 representatives. Let me boost that to the top. And how many building slots are in Florida? Eight. We'll do four military factories. Keep some open for dockyards. And then we'll get the Federal Housing Act and completely get rid of the Great Depression here. And I think representatives will go in opposition here, yeah. So let's do a medium lobby effort, I guess. And hopefully we won't have to do any more. And we have 200 naval experience, but I want to save experience for ship designers because it's pretty much time, I think. Or no, we need to get the next research. Not quite. We can go ahead and do 1938. Or 1936 holes, I mean. And we'll put two depth charges on them. On the destroyers. And torpedo launchers with radar. Not fire control, sonar. And then two... Oh, one anti-air and then a dual purpose battery with a shield and we'll just call it a Fletcher class I know this early on it wasn't a Fletcher class but that's the only one I really know so we'll just take, keep the lettering system go, going up like that just to make it simple and have them go to the training group and when this one is finished, they'll go into the new ones. And we'll do the same thing with our cruisers. Change them to a patrol. And Brooklyn class A. Come down here and give them a dual purpose battery. Radar. I want to give them fire control though. And then some anti-air. Probably with two um, uh, light cruiser batteries. And I want them to be able to spot really well. So I want them to have two aircraft catapults. For surface detection. And then uh, anti-air on the last one. And we'll see how that works out. And we'll put them right here. And let them go into the training group whenever this one is finished. There we go. That'll work. And we can do the same for the subs, I suppose. There we go, subs are easy. Alright, so we got our basic armor here. Let's go ahead and get the 1939 artillery, since we have a research bonus for it. It's only 83 days. Yeah, I know the Brooklyn class is in production and it's outdated. Let's check on the war in China. This is Turkey delivers an investment portfolio. 
No, we're not going to do that. And that military factory in Florida is almost finished, and we have almost 300 representatives now in support, so we should be able to do that Two Ocean Navy Act. And we just lost all of the negative effects of the Great Depression. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And now we have no depression effects. Got, what, six lines full of factories now? That's great. We also need to get a military theorist here. We'll probably get Bradley for that. And Chief of Navy. We have plenty of naval experience though right now. And there's still a little pocket holding out in Madrid. Wow, we lost eight senators. That is crazy that they're still holding out. We gained 25 representatives. 196,000 casualties for the Nationalists and 220,000 for the Republicans. That is quite a bloody war. And over here, we have 150 political power. Let's go ahead and get... Let's get the armaments guy, our war industrialist. Yeah, we'll do that one for now. We got our mountain infantry so we can make our ranger template. It's going to be pretty similar to the marine template here. Probably identical, actually. Maybe a anti-tank instead of anti-air. Yeah, something like that. And I don't have anything to label them as ranger division so we'll just have to improvise and we'll train one of them for now and we'll have them i don't really know where the ranger uh, training base is so we'll just put them in um here in california And we have our next artillery, so we'll add this to the line. Let's go ahead and get the next level of radar here. That'll be useful for the ships. And then we'll get this um, armor piercing cap shell for our battleships. And then probably move on to these. And we almost have the Two Ocean Navy Act. There we go. So now, let's go ahead and come over here for our main battle tanks. And we'll get our de uh, tank designer from there. We have some dockyards available. So what we'll do is put them all like that. And this one should be finished soon and then we can organize them a little bit better. And we got our synthetic oil. Let's go ahead and get the first rubber processing just so we can start building the plants. And our shells are done now. So we'll go ahead and work on these heavy batteries and light batteries with this research slot. Still a little early to research these ship holes. 
now that we have six research slots, though, that'll make it a lot easier. Once we can get off undisturbed isolation, that'll be a huge help. If I'm... I guess we need more than 50% war support, so maybe when World War II starts we can get off of it. And switch maybe to partial mobilization. And nice, we got 25 representatives. And 5 senators. They must have just finished a factory in Florida or something. Um, Congress elections. It is November. We got concentrated industry. We'll just let all three of these finish real quick. And we got our main battle tank focus. Nice. Okay, so with this research slot, let's get excavation three. And then with this one, we'll go ahead and get the next um, large airframe here. And then with this one, let's come over here and get field hospitals. And then with our focus, so let's get head down here towards carrier primacy so that we can get research bonuses for our carriers. And now with, we have our research bonus here, we can get Detroit Arsenal. But I think for this one, we're going to go ahead and get um, actually, let's get, let's get our equipment designer for this one. We still have time to get our tanks. I got the improved light battery. Let's get the improved medium battery now. And they're still holding out in Madrid. They are. Oh, that is crazy. Okay, we have our rubber processing. I'm not going to get the next level of that just yet. We may want to do ahead of time on the improved computing machine, though, for the extra research speed. Yeah, let's do that. Then we have the next level of radar. Let's go ahead and start getting these little um, engines and guns for the planes. That way we can start designing some planes in the next episode, hopefully. And hopefully this infrastructure will be finished. I thought it would go a little quicker than this once the depression effects wore off. I guess it's just a lot of infrastructure to go through. Let's check on the war in Asia. Looks like Japan is starting to make some headway. Check the casualties real quick. 465,000 for Japan versus almost one and a half million now for China. And we got our Bureau of Ships, so everything costs 5% less. And let's go ahead and get the, the Maritime Commission, because we're going to be constructing dockyards soon. But I do want the, yeah, I want the carrier research first. Germans just claim Memel, so World War II will be starting in a few months. I think that AI usually starts it in August or so. We just got 25 representatives. And Japan is really on a offensive here in the north. And we got our 
improved medium batteries. Let's go ahead and get the improved heavy battery and then we can be done with all of those for quite a while. Nice, we got our field hospitals. Let's go ahead and add that to the infantry template real quick. Let's go ahead and get a maintenance company. And we got 10 senators in support. It's always good. We lost 100 and we're down to 155 representatives though. I don't think that we need anything else though that requires house support, so we should be okay. And now the infrastructure is finishing. Awesome. We'll be ready to start doing um, um, military factories soon. Also, looks like we can get partial mobilization now. Maybe? No. Let's go ahead and pick up our designer, or theorist, I mean, with Bradley. And with this slot, we'll get the photo recon. And we have a marine division here. I so will add them to their own army in the Pacific and start training them. And we'll add another infantry and marine division here. Put the infantry out over here. I forgot where we had them, I think, and right here in North Carolina. And we were putting them in the training army. We'll start doing maybe four regular infantry divisions at a time now. Okay, and we got carrier primacy. And I think we're gonna go ahead and leave it off there. We're in April of 1939. World tension is at 30%, so World War II should be starting soon. So that'll be all for now. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time.